guys welcome back to CSS tutorial and uh, in this part of the CSS tutorial you will learn the type of CSS based on application so there are three types of CSS based on its, its application first is built-in HTML tags while writing CSS code for built-in HTML tags we don't have to put any prefix before the CSS code with ID attributes the CSS which is called with ID attributes has prefixes applied before the CSS code in code name. The third one is with class attributes. The CSS which is called with class attributes dot prefix is put before the CSS code name. So let's understand this with example first the built-in HTML tags. In the last in the previous example we had used in this CSS code, we had used built-in HTML tags. We just had written here body and it automatically has detected all the body tags in all the pages. Index page, HTML page, CSS page, JavaScript pages and Java page. Because in all the pages there was body tag. We have not written any prefix here before body. Similarly, we have not written here Similarly, we have not written here anything before oil neither h1 tag because these are built-in tags But if I write here something say text in that case either we will have to apply has or dot Okay So now let's move with the same example or course uh, example so let's go to this folder and then Let's open our main page index page. No, not that one. Courses. Okay, so that's our small project. So let's open index.html and then write here some more code. I will use here as table and then table close. inside table I will write here td tr and then tr tr close and then td and then td close again td and td close so I write here this is the heading and this is the body part. Now I want to control this with our CSS going to CSS file. So how we can do this? Let's see with the example. In your CSS file, this is the CSS file. If I write here table, okay, here I'm writing table and then width 500 px and then border 1 px solid and red. That means what? So now let's check if the design of table change or not. This is our index page. Did we really make changes in index to HTML? What did we say? This is index page. We may change in some other pages actually. Oh, that's the mistake. Actually, we have open same index to the HTML page at two places. So let's copy it and close it. 
better save this file because there are more code in this okay so below oil file i will write here this html tag and then finally save it let's open it and check okay you can see the table border is applied automatically and the width 500 pixel is applied also we didn't have to specify this table and not only that suppose you have two tables then the same suppose again i'm using a table this is mark seat of rajesh total mark is 500 now let's see with example so as you can see it applied to both the tables because what does it do wherever table is found it applies css to all the table now suppose i want to display okay so let's see one more thing if i use here td okay and then color equal to red that means the text inside the td of all okay it changed to red because it's applying globally now i want to change the color of this one only the first one so how i can control that we can control either through class or id so what i will do i write here id equals to heading remember id is attribute of td heading now what i will do with this heading i will create one css here so i write here color equal to blue but this will not be recognized if you try to change here then there will be no change at all you can see there is no change why because heading is not an built-in html tag so i am using id attributes that is why i will have to apply here has so remember when you apply id here when you apply id in your html this one then with this name in css you will have to apply has before that with has prefix so now let's check it and you can see the color of this has changed so what do you learn if you want to apply css with id attribute then you will have to write has prefix before that and now finally let's check the class suppose and remember you cannot call one id of the same name again and again for example if i write here this one then this will display this will change the text perfectly but this is not good because id age its name suggests is for identification for unique text okay so if you want to apply more than at one place in that case you will use class i will use here class equal to sub head now let's create one css with this name dot sub head here color say 
green font size 20 ps now you can see the color and font size has changed now again i want to apply this one also here in that case what i'll have to do just call that css you don't have to write again and again just call the css and your task is done here just write here like this and then your task is done okay so what did you learn you can check it built-in html tags so what is built-in html tags these are built-in html tags table tr body h1 tag h2 tag these are built-in tags so if you're using built-in tags then you don't have to apply you don't have to use any put any prefix here that is why we have not used any has or not here because these are built-in tags but in case of id attributes if you are applying the css with id attributes here in case of the first one id attributes then we had to put here has and if you want to use the class attributes so you you'll have to use dot before that uh, css name so so the now question remains where to use id and where to use uh, class if id normally id is used for single entity for single tab for example header footer because there can be one header there can be one footer okay so for these things we use normally id but if you know that the same thing will be repeated again and again in that case class you should use so class class is used at more than one place in a single page but id is used only once so that is the main difference Thanks for watching. I see you in the next video. It was presented by Tutorial Raise and I'm Omar Rahman.